UFOs, and they are. <laughs> Bill Duggan, Fort Hood, Texas. Harry Hughes, Issaquah, Washington. Andrea Stout, Swarthmore, Pennsylvania. Charlie Carson, New York City. Marshall Todd, Annandale, Virginia. Jack Papu, Kansas City, Missouri. Gary McEachern, Mount Dora, Florida. Cynthia Stoll, Valley Village, California. Sal Espana, St. Louis, Obispo, California. Bo Kane, but Mr. Merrill. Okay, everybody, congratulations on getting here this far. Now let's get ready because here comes tonight's first fastest finger question. Here it is. Put these movies in order of their first theatrical release, starting with the earliest. Forget Paris, Brighton Beach, Memoirs, Remember the Titans, Total Recall. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest the movie, and it was Brighton Beach Memoirs, and then Total Recall, Forget Paris, Remember the Titans. Let's see who got it right in the fastest time. The winner is Charlie Carson. Charlie Carson from uh, New York City. He is a legal uh, assistant? Legal secretary. Legal secretary, uh-huh. Law firm right here in town. Absolutely, a New York guy. Well, actually from uh, where? Originally from Signal Mountain, Tennessee. Oh, yeah, Tennessee. Suburb of Chattanooga. Uh-huh, Chattanooga, right. Up here in New York. When'd you come up? Uh, 1977, so I'm so you've been really a, a New Yorker Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on getting in the hot seat. And you have a friend with you. As a matter of fact, he's your roommate. Yeah. Andy, how you doing? Good. How are you, Regis? And what do you do, Andy? Uh, advertising. Adver what, what on advertising? Uh, advertising. <laughs> it's one of those days. You haven't been out of, out of space, have you, Charlie? I, I, I thought I picked a better friend with me today. <laughs> he's a man of few words oh, no, for advertising. You should see him at home. <laughs> I'll bet. Okay, so here you go for $100. You know the rules. You know the lifelines. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. All right, Charlie, we always start at the $100 question. Which of the following phrases means a stern scolding? Knee bending, piano fingering, tongue lashing, group hugging. <laughs> that would be C, tongue lashing. Yes, sir, tongue lashing, the right answer. All right, Charlie, get ready now. Here it comes for $200. A person would most likely use a compact to do which of these tasks? Apply makeup, wash hair, brush teeth, phone home. <laughs> that would be A, apply makeup. Final answer. That's what it is, makeup. <laughs> Charlie, going for $300. Nonstick frying pans are commonly coated with what substance? Paper, Teflon, shellac, banana peels. Uh, we'll go with B, Teflon. Final answer. Got it for $300. <laughs> Up to 500. The American icon Uncle Sam is traditionally pictured wearing what kind of hat? A 10 gallon hat, a top hat, baseball cap, coonskin. Ah, coonskin. That's Tennessee Vols. Um, but I'll go with B, top hat. Final answer. And you're right. He wears a top hat. $1,000. In a classic movie song, what line follows ding dong? The hunchback said, it's time for bed. My name is Ted. The witch is dead. Ding dong, the witch is dead. The final answer. Just won $1,000, Charlie. When we come back, Charlie will go for $2,000. Charlie Carson, legal secretary here in New York City for a New York law firm, does a lot of volunteer work over the years, including founding a, a New York aquatic team, huh? It, it's called Team New York Aquatics. It's a master swim team. It's part of the USMS Master Swimming Organization mm -hmm. here. Master swimmer has to be a pretty good swimmer, right? No, they don't. That's one of the beautiful, one of the great things about the program is that it's for 
recreation as well as people all the way up to former Olympians. Uh -huh. But you do compete with other cities all over America and in Europe now. Yes. Um, and, and how well it, have you done? Well, I'm, I'm still staying in as good a shape as I did 20 years ago, which kind of amazes me. And I think it's, the key to that is just keeping at it, keeping steady, you know, don't take years off. Just keep plugging away. Well, people swear by swimming to stay in shape, you know? It's great aerobic exercise. Yeah. Well, you look like you're in good shape, Charlie. Thank you. Well, all right, you're also in good shape here. You've got your lifelines. We're going for $2,000. Let's get back to it. Let's play. Okay, Charlie, $2,000. A sandwich board is commonly used for what purpose? Game playing, cooking, advertising, transportation uh, the answer actually is C advertising final answer <laughs> you're absolutely right it's advertising are you happy Andrew? and did you ask Charlie's friend and roommate what does he do advertising <laughs> he's the guy that carries the sandwich board huh? exactly just kidding Andy <laughs> just kidding four thousand dollars here we go Car makers currently express engine size using what unit of measurement? Liters, gallons, pounds, feet. Boy, I don't have a car. A lot of New Yorkers don't. I haven't had one for 20 something years. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and go to the audience on this. Maybe you should. All right, audience, Charlie needs your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, two-thirds say it's uh, liters. I, I kind of figured that was it, but I'd better be safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a pretty good percentage. We'll go with it, A leaders. Final answer. Audience was right for four thousand dollars. Here it comes now for eight thousand. By definition, what has been done to plated hair? Shaved, braided, dyed, wrapped into bun. I'm pretty sure that's being braided, and I will go ahead and make that my final answer. Got that one right, too, for $8,000. <laughs> Here it is, Charlie, for 16000 Which TV show host was a writer for both Saturday Night Live and The Simpsons? Dennis Miller, John Stewart, Chris Rock, Conan O'Brien. That's D. Conan O'Brien. Final answer. It was Conan. $16,000. All right, here's one we got to get. $32,000, Charlie. What is the study of plant and animal tissues called? Etiology? Nephrology? Histology? Serology? I'm going to phone a friend, trying to think which one. I would like to call Alan. What does Alan do? Alan's a doctor at Massachusetts General. All Boston. right. All right, let's, let's get uh, Dr. Alan on the phone, at and Hello? Hello, Alan. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from a once to be a millionaire. Hi, how are you? Fine, how you doing? Very good. Got Charlie Carson here. He's looking for a little help at $32,000, okay? Okay. He'll come on, he'll read the question of the four answers, and you've got 30 seconds, Charlie, and they start now. Alan, what is the study of plant and animal tissues called? Etiology, nephrology, histology, or serology? What was the first one, Charlie? Etiology, E-T-I-O-L-O-G-Y. 
and the question is, what is the study of plant and animal tissues? Cows, yes. Okay, give me the four again quickly, if you can. Eddie, it's nine seconds. Etiology, nephrology, histology, serology. Histology. Okay, thank you, Alan. Good luck. Thanks. Boy, you just made it. One second well, to spare. And he is... I'm, I, I, I'm gonna go with it. I have, at this point, and he's a good, he's a smart guy. Okay, see, want to make that your... See histology, final answer. Alan was right for $32,000. All right, we come back. Charlie's gonna vote for $64,000 with one lifeline left. Charlie Carson, a legal secretary from New York City, has won $32,000, five away from a million dollars. And uh, his friend Andy is back there. Now, Andy, how, how did you two guys meet? Uh, sports. Uh, I play volleyball, he's swimming, and we had mutual friends, the organizations. Uh-huh. But weren't you in some kind of play or something together? We did some talent shows together, and it was just kind of fun. Kind and of what's goofy. your talent besides advertising? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we just kind of lip sync songs, did songs, uh, dressed up. It was just a lot of fun. Really? He, he doesn't want to tell you he, he did share. <laughs> he was sharing. You were Sonny? I don't know which no. is funnier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's where you are now. Five away, Charlie. Got five left in you? Do the best I can. And one lifeline left, and we're going for 64,000. Let's play. What rock band is named after the inventor of the seed drill? Leonard Skinner, Jethro Tull, Fleetwood Mac, Uriah Heep. I'm going to have to take 50-50. Yeah, why don't we narrow it down by two, computer, please? Okay. You got a 50% chance here, if you're guessing, to guess it right. The seed drill, right. Um, I think... Boy, both those names now sound like they would be the guy who invented the seed drill. Well, I, I may be saying people watching this may think he doesn't know what he's talking about, but I think Jethro Tull had something to do with agriculture. So, since it's... I really don't have any other thing to go on, and it's a free guess. I'll go with B. Jethro Tull. Final answer. Well, Charlie, you just won sixty-four thousand dollars. All right, Charlie. Down to four questions to go. All the lifelines are gone now, so it's going to be. Charlie all the way. All right. My life has changed already. So oh, good. If I don't good. do anything dumb, I'm okay. <laughs> all right. Glad to hear that. But here it is for 125000 The Mount Pinatubo Volcano is located in what country? Philippines, Turkey, Japan, Australia. A, Philippines, final answer. Bang, got it for 125000 Ask me another one. You know, it, it, it erupted 10 years ago, 1991. Oh. You, you remember the name from yeah, that? Yeah, huh? yeah. Good for you. It's 10 years. What are you going to do with all this money? Uh, well, everyone wants to pay off their debts, and that's going to wipe them out if I... <laughs> Charlie, you've been um, living but... high on the hog, huh? Well, you know what else, though? My, my swim team has an annual... Our swim, actually, all of the Masters teams around the country do an hour mm -hmm. swim that they raise money for local charities. Uh -huh. And I've never really been in a position to do anything for them. And, you know, this will give me a chance to do something nice for the well, next that's year. Good. That's great. But now, Charlie, should you miss, you'll lose 93000 at yeah. this point. Go back to 32000 Well, we're just three away from a million dollars. And here it is for 250000 Author Dashiell Hammett. Base detective Nora Charles on what famous writer? Virginia Woolf, Lillian Hellman, Dorothy Parker, Agatha Christie.
Lillian Hellman actually leapt out at me before the name came up. Um, well, it didn't leap out, but it went in my brain. But I just don't know enough about this. And 125000 even after taxes here in New York City, <laughs> is going to be great. Thank you to everyone on the staff. I've had a great time. Why don't you take a guess, Charlie? Charlie's guess would have been Lily and the Hellman, and guess what? Yeah. Charlie would have been right for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Charlie, Charlie, here it is. Nice Thank to have you here, so Charlie. Good luck to you. Good for Charlie. I'm sure those local charities and his creditors will be very happy he did so well. Now let's.